Hey there, um, here's just a quick demo of the Amazon Alexa interface with All-Star Link. I've just got an Amazon Echo Dot hardwired into an All-Star um, ASL3 Raspberry Pi. And I'm going to be demoing just basic Amazon Alexa functionality as well as um, custom intents and uh, through the Amazon developer portal. So you can link to nodes and do uh, custom, custom, uh, custom commands. So I've just wired... Um, I've used a sound fob to wire up to the Amazon Echo Dot. The receive audio, transmit out of the Echo is pretty easy. You can just use the 2.5 millimeter jack on the actual device. Um, input audio is a little more difficult. That's this little red wire here. And I'm had to hook it up to this eight microphone array. This is a beam formed microphone array inside of here. And it was a little tricky because I first just tried to hook it up to one mic, but it didn't really perform very well. So then I had to hook it up to all seven microphones, it's seven, not eight. And it was still being a little weird, so I had to mess with some of the impedances and, and resistors. And it seems to be pretty decent now as far as um, weaker signal performance. And then I've just got a separate repeater right here as a all-star repeater so I can talk to it using that. And that's what I'll be using to demo the node itself. So without further ado, and I'm using the WakeWord computer, seems like either computer or Echo works better than the default Alexa, um, just because it's a 8 kilohertz sample rate for all-star audio, and the Alexa has kind of a lot of high-frequency content with the X that the um, Amazon's looking for. So I, I think the WakeWord computer or Echo works pretty well. So first of all, just a, a regular um, Amazon uh, demo. I'm just going to ask at the time, so W0SKY. Computer, what time is it? It's 1.13 p.m. Okay, so that works fine. It comes back with the time, and the repeater responds back. So now it's time to um, invoke a custom intent which I'm using the Alexa developer console. So I've got link to node or go to node or connect to node all here. And it opens up a amazon.number and then I have the actual destination point endpoint going to a custom Lambda script I wrote in AWS. Here's the Lambda script, which actually talks it makes a git request or a put put request whatever out to um, out to the FQDN of the node number, which is right now I'm on this um, IP address here. And then from there, I've got a basic web server running on the Pi itself, which then invokes this link script link.sh. So when it gets the right number, it pushes it to that. And then we should be able to link up to our hub. That's what I'm gonna be testing. So let's test it out. Computer, open repeater controller. Repeater controller is online. Say a node number to connect. 41694. Forty-one thousand six hundred ninety-four. And now you can see we're connected up to this node. This is W zero S K Y on node four one six nine four testing. So that was a quick demo um, of the Amazon Alexa. Uh, of course, there's all sorts of more scripts you could do. I kind of had to learn AWS. I've never really played with it much just to do this, so I'm kind of um, learning as I go, but. Um, it might be useful, um, kind of an interesting uh, project. So anyway, that's about it.